Today, we're on location to demonstrate the use of the new Sauce Invisible Hinge Router Guide Installation Template Kit. Back in 1903, when the Sauce Invisible Hinge was first patented, and back before the invention of the router, journeyman carpenters had to use bitten brace, hammer and chisel, and one of our paper templates that was shipped with each hinge for a detailed and accurate installation such as this. But today, there's another way. It's a newer way. It's our new router guide installation template kit. Contained in this kit is everything you'll need for a perfect installation every time, and an installation that's approximately 50% faster than when using hammer and chisel bit and brace. You will need to purchase separately a Porter Cable Template Guide number 42024, as well as the companion lock nut number 42237. In our kit though, you'll find a detailed four-page installation sheet along with all the measurements for all the various sizes of template guides as well as the template itself. Before we go too much further, let's take a look close up at some of the features of the new installation template. You'll notice that each template has nails, guide pins, and spacer bars at both ends. This is so that it's reversible when transferring from the door to the door jamb. This spacer tab is used at the top of the jamb and can be twisted 90 degrees to hang from the top of the door so that there is continuity of measurement when going from door to door jamb. These nails, one at both ends, securely hold the template to the door and the door jamb during installation. These locator pins slide up against the edge of the door as well as the edge of the jamb to maintain this critical dimension when moving from door to door jamb. And when doing the second route, these locator pins will guide you for the deeper mortise. So today, when using the new installation template, these are the only tools that are required. A ruler or a tape measure, a screwdriver, a drill, and a router. We'd like to advise you on two construction procedures we strongly recommend you follow the next time you use the Sauce Invisible Hinges. Notice here on the buck stud that we've placed the nails on the center line of the buck rather than alternating them in a random fashion from left to right. This is critical so that no nail is in the location of the actual route. One other procedure which you can see is we've included this filler strip which is one and a half inches wide by the dimension of the wall covering which would be on this plane normally half inch drywall. This is necessary so that when during the final installation of the hinge itself this wood will receive the screw thread. Let's get on with today's demonstration. The use of the new Sauce Invisible Hinge installation template makes installing Sauce Invisible Hinges a snap. When starting at the top of the door, a spacer tab is used to allow for the proper clearance. After that, the template is simply nailed to the door using the six penny nails that come supplied. Here our carpenter has checked the instructions to verify the depth of the first or the shallow route. This dimension is the only critical one. It assures the proper depth of the hinge in the mortise. The use of a drilled pilot hole is strongly recommended as an aid to getting the router started. By using the recommended Porter Cable Guide bushing, the edges of the routed mortise will be perfect time after time. Our carpenter preferred to make the shallow route in two passes, and he's checking to make sure that he has not exceeded this critical dimension. The template has been designed so that when hung from the top of the door, the center of the hinge route will be 8 inches from the top of the door. Here the carpenter is making a mark as he gets ready to move to the second route. By using this mark, it will automatically put the second hinge in the proper location. Again, a mark is used as he gets ready to move to the bottom or third hinge location. After this check, he will proceed to route the shallow dimension on the third hinge. Now that the shallow route is completed on all three door mortises, 
our carpenter will make the same routes to the jam. This is to avoid having to reset the bit depth after each mortise. By sliding the entire template tight against the head jam, the spacer tab will automatically provide you with the same dimension as used on the door when the template was hung by the spacer tab. The buck stud was prepared with the nails on the center line so that the nails will not be where the hinge is to be mortised. A mark is used again to move from the first hinge to the second. Our carpenter decided to use a stick cut to the proper dimension to locate the third hinge. It's really a matter of personal preference whether a stick or tape is used to locate this third hinge. After the shallow route is completed for the third hinge on the jam, it is time to install the guide pins for the second or deep route. The depth of this route is not critical if the depth goes beyond nominal. These pins allow the guide bushing to ride around them to give you the proper clearance for the deeper portion of the hinge body. After adjusting the router bit's depth, the second route is completed. Here again, individual preference will probably dictate making the second route in two passes. More than likely, the carpenter will proceed to finish all of the second routes on the jam and then turn his attention to the deeper routes on the door. After the completion of all six mortises, the hinges are installed in the door. The door, with the hinges installed, is then moved to the jam for installation. During this installation process, some adjustment is attainable by how tightly torqued the screws are installed. Our studies have indicated that use of this new SOS Invisible Hinge installation template can save over 50% when compared to traditional installation practice. Now available for SOS Invisible Hinges, the SOS Router Guide Rail System. The SOS Router Guide Rail System permits the ganging of up to four hinge templates at one time saving valuable installation time and assuring an exact installation. For all doors that demand the most exacting precision, the SOS Router Guide Rail System will assure architects of precise installations. For the installing contractor, whether for one installation or many, it's the fastest, easiest way to install SOS Invisible Hinges. The SOS Router Guide Rail System contains up to four handcrafted hardwood router guide installation templates and all the machined channels, the extension, and screws for an easy, exact installation every time. Lay out the job and set up the ganged templates once, but use it twice with no interim adjustment. Go from jam to door with no changes, and you're assured of a perfect installation time after time. For architectural detail where the detailing must be exactly exact. For contractor production profitability. The SOS Router Guide Rail System is also economical. The Router Guide Rail System hardware can be used with four different hinge model templates. See your SOS Invisible Hinge Distributor for all the details. Call SOS at 419-737-2324 or email us at hinges at sauce.com. We hope this demonstration of the Sauce Invisible Hinge Router Guide Installation Template Kit has shown you how simple and easy it is to install Sauce Invisible Hinges. And that's the real story behind closed doors.